What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 5 as Congo. We're making progress very slowly. Keeping the Songhai capital nice and low for health, which is what we need to do. And slowly removing their units. Obviously if you haven't seen the last video and you wonder why I'm now at war with who has been my best friend for the majority of the game, you may want to check out the last video to see what happened. It was quite a big development, happened very quickly. However, what matters is Ethiopia are now control, in control of quite a bit of land here in the east of northeast of Africa, taking out Egypt and Mercuria, and they have a lot of units pushing towards the other Songhai cities, so that is also to be kept in mind. Can we hit anything else? Well, there's a great engineer. Anyway, we just got a great general. Where is he? He should come forward. I actually want to use the great general over here to steal away the oil before Ethiopia grab that city. That'd be really helpful. Another hospital. Promotion. Okay, you can have that one. Come chill over here for now in case Rhodesia do something sneaky. Uh, this unit can just go along the coast. Ah, there we go. Sink their thing. There we go. We're making some progress. Obviously, we did take this city, which is the former Nigerian capital. Looks like Ethiopia's having success. Rhodesia, I don't know what they're doing. They are at war with the Songha as well, but they're not really contributing. Obviously, we're about to take their last option away from the Songhai and this is probably it for the Songhai they just lost this city Ethiopia really trying to go after more cities so that's scary we've sort of allowed we've helped Ethiopia get even stronger our navy's built up okay we need to move this frigate swap it with this one heal it that's the good thing of having three we can just keep rotating ah they're getting more and more units here come on rifleman I'm not sure the rifleman's going to be safe to survive a whole turn that is that's the bad news, but we're about to get electricity, see where the aluminium is inside Congo, so that's that's nice. I'm enjoying this, I, I, I have this weird feeling, I'm going to be honest, wherever I go to record, I procrastinate for ages all weekend, because I, I can only record at the weekends, which is why sometimes if you comment for a request for me to do something, you won't see it till the next week. And it is a bad thing, but it's just my living arrangements, it's what I've got to do, and you know, it is annoying. But, ooh, Vietnam is really making some progress. But, yeah, I, I always procrastinate. I'm like, don't want to record yet. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. And when I get into it, I actually start. It's awesome. Like, now, I was only meant to do, like, three videos today. And I, this is the fourth. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So, I don't know why it is like that. Maybe it's just a thing. I don't know. But, yeah, it's weird. Like, you don't want to do it. And then as soon as you do it, you love it. So, it's kind of how this is for me at the moment. But I'm enjoying this. But, anyway, obviously... Ah, this is risky. This is risky. I do not like this. I should have destroyed this guy. There we go. Got rid of him. Didn't get rid of that one, though. Eh. Push forward. Can't do anything. We're going to have to sort of mount a better attempt for the capital. I don't know what I'm going to do with this great general. It'll probably just help going for the capital. I would like to steal away that oil if Ethiopia fails at this. Steam power, refrigeration, or radio. Okay, so steam power would finish off the industrial era. Give us some ironclads, which I don't need at the moment, to be fair. Submarines would be cool. Offshore platforms, we don't need, though. Uh, stadiums, hotels would be nice. I'm going to go for steam power, just because I'd love flight and all the stuff that comes after steam power. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this guy back to heal as well. Next turn, hopefully this rifleman doesn't get destroyed. I mean, he may do, which is just going to be really annoying. But this time, I'll move the artillery and purchase another one. If that is the case, hopefully they'll go for the frigate instead. Hopefully they're a dumb AI. I still need to build more cargo ships. I keep the game. I don't know why I'm building a market here. Ethiopia, I don't know how well they're going to do here because it is all open land, but they are attacking with just melee units and Gatling guns. Well, I'm using lots of artillery, and there's what seven, eight here. Two, yeah, eight. <gasps> yes, it's no. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to purchase one here. This is really annoying. Okay. Gonna have to purchase one in Lagos. I don't get how... Uh, okay, so the Songhai are defending pretty hard. If I could get Mar... I, I want to get Mali in, but I don't want to risk them stealing something either, like just beating me to it. So I don't want that. Uh, uh, that would be really annoying. But yeah, that is going on. Also, just wanted to make you aware, if you are not aware, there's a... Actually, do I want to say it? I don't know. There is now, I'm back up to daily videos, I'm doing a new series on Software Inc. It's a pretty cool game. If you don't know what it is, you haven't checked out the video, you just saw it and sort of went, ignored it, or maybe you didn't know that I was doing back to daily videos again. 
I do show my face with the face cam, so if you want to check that out, I don't know, maybe you can. Uh, some of you may have seen my face before, I have shown it before, I just deleted those videos, so they're no longer on the channel, but, because they weren't very good videos. So, if you do want to check that out, I mean, feel free to, it's a pretty cool series, they're only 15 minute videos, pretty cool stuff happening there. Uh, rifleman, please. Oh, wait, cavalry actually, just so I don't have to waste time getting over there, I can do it in one turn, get it done with. Boom, take out, and this frigate's healing. Production, stock exchange, we need that money. Uh, artillery, can you hit anything from there? No, I didn't think so. Can you move forward? Yes, there you go. And you as well, move forward. Just distract them and attack the city again, I don't know. That might work. Great general, come out and help. Frigate, heal. Yeah, so there's just a couple of videos a week for that. It's a pretty fun game. You run a computer company from like the start up to the future. It's really awesome. If you want to check it out, feel free. So I'd let you know. And that will develop into probably some more stuff that's less Civ related. It may become Civ 5 when Civ 6 comes out. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got an awesome idea for a really unique Civ 5 series. There's just sort of one logistical thing I'm still trying to figure out. So... I may, you may see that pretty soon as well once Civ 6 is actually out, just sort of a Civ 5 thing going back once a week. But I've still got to figure out how to record it, how to, how to make it really into like the format I want it to be in. But lots of cool stuff's coming up, so I'm going to really work on the channel now, really work to make it awesome for you guys. So yeah, that, that's good news for you guys, so anyway. If you've watched this far, you're six minutes into a episode 16, 15, 17, 15, 16, it's not, no, 14, 15, 16 I've done today, so it must be 17, unless I'm counting wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 17. If you've watched this far and you're seven minutes into this video, which is over the average viewing time now, you're probably a pretty awesome fan, so you deserve to know. As it stands, obviously they may announce more sieves from this point, or they may have already announced a new cool sieve. For Civilization 6, but as it stands, I will currently be doing my first game. Day it comes out as Norway. They look awesome. I really want to play as them. And then within I'll be doing two episodes a day, so then within the end of that week, I'm going to go with a viewer, a one a commenter suggested. I can't remember the name exactly, which is awful. Like I know exactly who it is, but I don't know, you may not want me to say your name, so I don't know. I'll keep it quiet I'll keep quiet for now. But yeah. I mean, why? Why are you over here? Go over there. <laughs> um, so yeah, someone wanted me to play as Arabia, and that sounds cool. I, I played as Arabia once, ages ago, in Civ Five, and I don't see why I can't play as them again. So I'd love to do that, and you guys want me to play as Arabia, so I'm going to do that. Probably that will be up within a week of the initial series going out. Obviously, it's a shame that I don't get pre-release, but I, I never expected to. I didn't even didn't even think about it, really. So yeah, I'm just thinking about it. Civ 6 in general, what's going to be coming up that's going to be some cool stuff going up hopefully my PC can record it, that is like, sound sounds really bad but I mean, basic Civ 6 with 8 sieves. I'm sure when I'm running this with 43 sieves, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine, even though the graphics are up a little bit other stuff I've been doing, I've been trying to run Europa Universalis and I've been having mixed results, so like with the rec recording as well, it's been a bit it's been a bit laggy I've noticed, so I'm going to keep keep delving into that seeing what I can do to get a vid maybe a series going with that by December sort of time if I can that's probably a big no on Hearts of Iron 4 because it's a bit harder to run at the moment obviously I'm looking into it my birthday if you didn't know well, you probably didn't know is in December so very near to Christmas so like I can get a lot of stuff I normally get a lot of stuff around Christmas but then slowly build up throughout the year to not getting too much so that's sort of how it goes round. Obviously, I've saved up, so I'm getting a new monitor for my PC, which can be some. Our oh, happiness is down low. Oh, Korea, what are you doing? Ethiopia is an order nation. I don't know. And Byzantium. Okay, people are annoyed at Ethiopia. I don't know what they've done. They do look very strong now. But yeah, so probably around Christmas, I may, if Civ 6, depending on how it's going, um, on my PC and stuff and what else I can do I may look into upgrading it a little bit buying some new parts see what I can do because I've had I'll have had it for a year come Christmas so but it's been fine so far for Civ 5 and recording with OBS so it shouldn't be a problem really wow Ethiopia's got a lot of units 
but not siege units, and that's what's holding them back. But yeah, we I didn't even make a comment, I just took this over silently, <laughs> just kept talking, but that's pretty cool, that's like, I don't know, it just felt awesome. I just wanted to talk about that, so anyway. <clears throat> now we're going to line this border and begin... I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. I don't think we've got the... Got the, um... Why does this unit not have a logo on it? That's weird. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, can you come forward? Ah, we can't destroy them just yet. That. Oh yeah, we can. That cannon will not go away. Wait, where's the lancer? There we go, boom, that got rid of it. Congolese great general. It would be nice if we could... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, I've got a plan. I've got a plan that involves piecing out with the Songhai and just slapping that down. I think I think that's the best idea. I've got to be honest. I don't think... Uh, what do I want? Uh, happiness is what we need at the moment. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to support taking over their capital just yet. I mean, we've already taken over two huge cities, so I just want to slap down a citadel and see how things go from there. Great engineer, finish that hospital? Uh, yeah, why not? I didn't quite finish. Oh, I'd like to steal these workers away as well. I don't know why I'm attacking them. Boom, there we go. That should help us steal the workers away. I need to try to slip the great general in and not lose it this time. Because i that's what happened with Rhodesia last time. Sort of lost it. By, by the way, I did notice the Aztecs took out the Iroquois capital, so good job, Aztecs. I'm going to definitely go over the info addicts next video, because we definitely have probably seen quite a large improvement now as we spread out across Africa. We've got more cities than Rhodesia now. They had seven, unless they've settled an island somewhere, they had seven. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cities. So we're ahead of Rhodesia cities. Boom. That's good news. And Ethiopia doing a job. We could actually maybe try peace out for the Songhai for some of these northern cities. But that's, again, probably not the best idea. Yeah, there's no way we'd be able to support a 23 population city on our happiness yet. We'll come back for it in the future. I, I, as long as Ethiopia don't get too strong, we should come back. But anyway, two coastal cities, bigger navy going to be built now. It's going to steal away these two workers because I'd really love to have those. And then slap down my great general, probably on this tile. No, wait, where, where would be a good tile? Uh... No, that would annoy everybody. <clears throat> Probably on this mine, just so we can really get right up in con in their face of their capital. See, there's a river here which should make taking their capital pretty easy for us in the late game. But yeah, they've, they've collapsed. And we're about to get steam power finished. That looks awesome. So yes, uh, there we go. And into the modern era. I thought we were in the modern era. I'm confused. Maybe we were only in the industrial era. Boom, one worker. Boom, two workers. Awesome. Push up. And fire. Okay, can the great general get to there? I don't want him to get stolen. That's all I'm wary of right now. Just get rid of these guys. Ah, can't quite get rid of him. Yes, we can. Boom. Okay, new research. We're at the point where we've got five options. I think railroad would be pretty good. I think if we could, you know, instead of roads. I just want to point out, Korea was here about four videos ago so they are probably all the way over here now you know they've got probably got nuclear missiles so we're not winning this game i already know that korea we got another spy and again missed it technologies yeah i mean look we're here 15 51 korea's 67 jesus christ they're 11 ahead of rhodesia jeez jeez stock exchange research i thought i just said railroad actually no i don't want railroad i, I want I want Great War Infantry, just so I can upgrade my guys. Historical Landmarks, I don't want that. Science is funding, more scientists. I, I, I don't really... Eh. What does this do? Great Person Tile Improvements provide plus two culture when worked. <clears throat> so this would lower writers, artists, and musicians. Korea want more science. Uh, does it matter? I don't know. I don't... I'm not... I'm not sure. I don't know what to vote here. Hmm. Well, that's a good thing. Like, it's not going to down affect anything. And then I'll just do that. Say no to that one just because... Yeah. I don't really want it. Um, Korea? Trade? Can we get that defensive pact back up? No. Okay. They don't want to be... 
Maybe once we get out of a war, they'd be willing to give us that. Possibly. Uh, okay, next turn. Then we'll slap down the great general. Hopefully he'll survive. We'll take some tiles. And everything will be good. We'll only take one incense tile, which is kind of annoying. But whatever. Are Ethiopia going to have some success? It doesn't look like Ethiopia is going to get anything here, but they are doing very well. I mean, they now have two capitals under their control. And all of Egypt, what was Egypt? So, it could be interesting. Three powerful nations now in Africa. Us, obviously Rhodesia are the strongest, but I don't think they'd be willing to go to war with us. Especially, don't forget, with our ideological tenant, that 15% bonus in our for when we're defending and fighting in our own territory. That will be huge for defending against Rhodesia. So we can see Mali here. They look similar to us, but not so good. Did anyone? I don't know. Someone's still attacking Brazil. I don't know who it is, but... Oh, we didn't grab any sea resources out here either. That's a shame. But here we go. Here we go. Okay, Australia joined us. Is Order the dominant one now? I, I again forgot to spawn one. Yeah, Order's winning. Order, order's doing well. I don't get why some civs are still unhappy with Order. Boston of Sitting Bull has fallen to California. Who is sitting? Is sitting bull? Okay, so the Sioux's being destroyed here. Yeah, look, that was the new Sioux capital. And it's gone over to California. So America's just a myth. I think it's just going to be one sieve falls at a time until someone's got everything. Accuracy three. That seems nice. We can't hit their capital. I do want to peace out. Just one second. Will I be able to slap down this? Construct citadel. Boom. Okay, so we lost the mine. Oh, it gave us these tiles as well. Okay, that's, that's what, cool. Uh, you can... Do stuff automatedly. You heal. Fortify. Okay, I'm going to peace out because I know no one's going to take them out. Wait, you got to wait one more turn. Oh, okay. Got to wait one more turn for that. That's fine. Uh, worker again. Go do what you want. Just automated. Go build stuff. I think, yeah, I mean, soon we'll be able to upgrade, upgrade our huge road to railroads. And we'll need to... Yeah, everything's pretty connected. Probably be good to get a road between these two cities. We could probably have moved this artillery and helped out Ethiopia, but, you know, we want Ethiopia to lose a lot of units as well. We don't want them to be super strong, because, I mean, Korea, we've just seen backstab them in a war when they're both order. So, being ordered doesn't mean we're 100% safe yet. It might do. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But, yep, the city's into the yellow now. And as I was talking about stuff I want to do, I'm going to potentially try live streaming at some point. Because I looked at what sort of internet speed, upload speed, because my download speed's pretty poor here. It's not it's not amazing. And the Wi-Fi and my internet's a bit temperamental. Although on my PC it seems to be fine. It's like on phones and stuff. So it's probably just the box for the Wi-Fi itself is a bit temperamental. But I could probably def... But my upload speed's quite good. I mean, well, I say quite good. It's 5 megabits per second, which is fine. It's not... You know, there's people like out there with like hundreds and... 80s but five i've read up is enough to live stream in low motion games apparently so i mean civ 5 is low motion i guess you could say in comparison to a game like call of duty where it's just running around and stuff trade with england they don't seem threatening yeah that's fine okay we can now pay peace out negotiate peace he'd give me both his cities Woo! i don't want either of them though can i have your 183 gold per turn could you imagine? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. We are now making 183 more gold per turn from the Songhai. That's all their economy. So we're going to bankrupt them as well. Probably game over for them. Sorry, Songhai. I do love the Songhai as a Civ. They're my first ever Civ. Hopefully they get announced for Civ 6. Or at least come out in a DLC. Or if not, mod makers out there. If you get the same sort of level as modding ability that you got in um, <laughs> Civ 5, please make a song high. That would be awesome. I'd love to play as them. But yeah, sorry song high. Had to do that. But we are in a good spot now. We are in a very, very good spot. Ooh, ideology. Especially being in order. And I mean, it's taken us a long time. We are not making much culture. I am aware of that. If you may have noticed, it's very slow. Patriotic war. <clears throat> skyscrapers so level two tenant still a long way away so I don't know why it's taken so long Kievan Russ 
Can't believe they're still alive. Ooh. Ian Smith. Alright, Ian. What what do you want? Unacceptable. Nope, then I don't want <laughs> don't want to give you open but oh my god. Okay. So all these units up here <laughs> now need to rush down south, because I'm pretty sure I know what's gonna happen next. But anyways guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please be sure, if you've enjoyed it, to leave a like, leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Let me know what you think about all the things I've said today, such as live streaming, and if it was to become a thing. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.